Hey guys, what's up? This is Stefan. Uh, I got the channel God Hype and Kicks, and today I'm gonna go ahead and bring you a review of some Ultra Boost. These are the ones we got. Um, I got them in the mail a while ago, and I wanted to give you guys a review. So this is the Ultra Boost Trace Cargo um, style code BA7748. Um, and on this heel cup, this is what really kind of makes this shoe cool and different from most. This has got the seatbelt material or whatnot, really reinforced material back there. I mean, it doesn't really look like a seatbelt, obviously, but it's the same type of knit. Um, obviously different than the prime knit that's on the shoe. Um, it's really cool, though, and it just makes it unique. And it doesn't seem like it comes off at all after a bunch of wear still pretty clean. I mean, I haven't really worn these ones that much, but I've worn them enough to get them a little bit dirty and whatnot, like a handful of times. I don't know, 15 times, something like that. Anyways, um, so they're a pretty cool shoe. I like the color. You got that olive black and gray kind of all mixed in there and the stripes. Um, and then the toe box obviously is pretty sick as well. Um, the way that they just built that pattern on there. This is probably probably the warmest of all the Ultra Boost models. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm over my seat. Um, this is probably the warmest of all of the Ultra Boost models. The 1.0 is probably the coolest. Um, but yeah, if it's like 200 degrees outside, or like 120 or 100 degrees outside, you probably won't want to rock these that much. They're still really breathable compared to most shoes on the market. And they're like the most comfortable out of any shoe on the market. So, I mean, if you don't have another Ultra Boost as a replacement, then this one's probably your best bet, I would say. But if you got a 1.0 lying around, like, you know, we've all got Ultra Boost 1.0s lying around, right? I, I don't right now. I actually I had a pair and then I sold them like last week or something. Gotta pay the bills, right? So, um, yeah, I wore those. And these ones are leaving too. So that's why I wanted to give you guys this tip this review before they are gone for good. So anyways, they're a pretty cool upper. I really, really like, this is probably my favorite of all of the different earth tone or green tone colorways of the Ultra Boost. Um, I guess just the all of the olive colors, we could just put them all together and say that because um, I don't wanna mix in a bunch, like, like a whole bunch of the models that they came out with because I know they got a lot of like the khaki ones and whatnot, but if you want color like this, this is probably the coolest one, but um, it's hard to find, hard to get. Most of the dead stocks are pretty expensive. I mean, actually, they're I mean they're relatively cheap if you just you know if you just want to spend a hundred bucks over retail. But um, for somebody who's just making it or whatnot, just barely getting going, like. Um, there are some coming out. There's the one on Saturday, it just released on Saturday, that, or maybe it was last Saturday, I can't remember. Very recently, and it might even still be on the Adidas site, it's like Tech Earth, um, and it's very similar color, and it's the same exact materials, because um, this is TPU upper, this is just, it's not like the leather. Uh, even though this is an LTV, this is a limited edition. Um, it doesn't have the leather, um, but it was still 200 bucks, like, Seriously, dudes. And then they came out with another olive, that brownish olive one recently that's leather, um, but it's only 180. It's like not an LTD, has leather. It's 180 like all the plastic ones. This is an LTD, doesn't have leather, it has plastic, um, but it's 200 bucks. Like, I guess maybe it's because this was the very first one for the 3.0 that was like military olive color, right? Colorway, excuse me. But yeah, this is a, a really cool shoe. And I'm sad to see it go, but I know uh, it's a very loved shoe because <laughs> people have really paid a pretty high price. It's not like I'm giving these away for 50 bucks or anything. So um, I can understand that, uh, you know, the next person is probably going to take care of them too. So um, anyways, that's about it. Yeah, so my channel is all about God, hype, and kicks. Um, later this week, I'll kind of go more in detail about that or I'll just show you basically because... You'll see a day in my life. Um, and yeah, we'll talk about more shoes. I got a couple up here that I haven't uh, reviewed 
yet. I had reviewed a few shoes previously, but like the video quality isn't, it's like terrible. The angles are bad, like jittery and, and everything. It just says like terrible quality and don't watch me and all that stuff. So, so they're going to be better quality. Um, hopefully you guys like them. Um, and uh, I'm pretty stoked. So yeah, have a great week. Thanks for keeping up.